You know what? Why don't we look over this a little bit to see the brilliant humor that comes from leftists? I mean, since they always say right-wingers can't be funny. Whoa, you're trans? You didn't know? Being trans shows huge strength of mind. No pun intended, but it takes balls. I'm thinking of replacing my balls with candy and turning the whole thing into a Pez dispenser. More like an AIDS dispenser. Wow. Some people call this an intervention. I'd like to call it an intertransitional homosexual turnaround fiesta. Standard fuck party, everybody! A train wreck, a troublemaker, a trans girl, and a trustafarian. And you thought the breakfast club was edgy. Not as edgy as popping you in the fucking oven. <laughs> okay, let me just take another oxy to calm my nerves. I don't want to get all Lana Del Cray before we hit the Depeche Road. What? Apparently, the idea that Jews are funny is as much a hoax as the idea that blacks have bigger dicks. For the right stuff, biz, I'm Moraki, and this has been the Merchant Minute. I said I'm canceling the. Cable. Are those real? Are those real clips from that stupid it show? It must be. I mean, that sounds like the most bullshit try-hard crap I've ever heard. He said it's only a web series, right? I can keep Again, my kids off okay, the web. Well, yeah. Is this the onion? I, I don't know anymore. I don't know if it's real or troll or parody. Pose law, bro. And they want really? to, well, they want kids it's a watching. Pose law world. Well, yeah, of course they want kids watching that because grown-ups who understand things are like, Ugh, kind of. It's kind of a thing you're just kind of supposed to be like, well, that's what they want to do, I guess. You're so. supposed to be like, right, they want to do, but just get like, away from but, but no, that's not good enough. It's got to be, you know, it's not good enough. It's not good enough, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to act like I don't want to shove people in ovens, but you know, when all the joking <laughs> around and all the rhetoric that is is gone, it's like I don't. I was cool with just being tolerant. I can stand people Up that are different than me, to a point, but. I don't need to pretend that they're normal. I don't need to teach my kids that it's just a state of mind and a social contract that they're weird and we're normal. They really are fucked up. And so you have to yeah. give the shit to the kids. Yeah, they're completely Because the fucked. kids are the ones no, no, going mean, to internalize this garbage. So, and that's well, why I mean, we need look, ovens. Because we need the ovens for the people that are trying to teach their kids this crap. That's not yeah, we that, we have we have all we've covered this before. It's not something that really needs to be covered in depth. The person that is actually a transsexual to the point where they need to chop their dick off is a mentally ill person, and uh, to pretend as if this is just another kind of person that's just equal to us, just with that one difference, is complete bullshit. And it's a lie. It's not. It's and, a lie. And it's, it's lie. also it's not. It's not that they care about people that are afflicted with this horrible mental illness, which is what I think it is. It's that they want to fuck up people that are normal. Yeah. Normal's, normal is oppressive. Like, they want to fuck up your kids. Yeah. It's not, look, if someone actually has this terrible mental disease where they think they're a woman, they want to chop their dick off, by all means, get them treatment or whatever we got to do. If it comes down to it, maybe they just got to be popped in the oven. We can't do anything for them. Whatever. But these people... These people want to fucking tell your kids it's normal. Yeah. That's what's fucked up. I, w I was wondering, like, you know, uh, Ghoul had that meme last week that was brilliant. It was uh, a stick figure dad looking at a stick figure baby. Oh, Johnny, <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I see you're playing with a doll. <laughs> Off comes the penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it makes me wonder, like, as how, a how much... two-year-old with no... No ability to comprehend yeah. these ideas. Yeah. You're playing with a girl's doll. That must mean you're a girl and off there comes goes the, the dick. Sorry, son. So uh, it makes me <laughs> wonder like how much of this how much of this like of these prepubescent uh, hormone therapies for these children, how much of it is to treat the parents' psychosis? How oh, much of it is, is it therapy for them? Yeah. Like all I, all what did I all raise? All I raised I did something wrong. Oh man. And there was one better. I saw where the parents were like, the mother, like the, the the news had like caught on to this, or that they were like giving their three year old some like hormone treatment therapy or something. And of right. course, it was at the on the advice of some Jewish shrink that they were doing this. And um, the mother was trying to sort of the TV reporter was actually being somewhat skeptical, and they were sort right. of asking her like, "Well, at three, how can you know?" And she's like, "Well, she just or no, he 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 just wouldn't ever stop crying." He never stopped crying. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, so the baby wouldn't stop crying, so you so cut, you off cut its, its dick. dick. 
<laughs> like, okay, I, I, you know, I don't know how you got from one to the other, but like maybe, you know, did you explore other avenues? No, but it's it's really fucked up. And they're, and they're doing this to their kids. It's irreparable. It can't be changed once it's done. You can't go back. And of course, all these people fucking kill themselves after the surgery is done anyway, because right. they're so the people that are legit. They get it done as a high rate. Did it be that fucked up to get it done? They kill themselves after it's done. Because it's not, um, you're still not a woman. Tell, everyone knows all this. Everyone knows yeah. all this. But the, the thing that made me actually want to start really just throwing people directly into ovens is that story. And you've probably seen it of those two Jewish lesbians. And they have like an eight-year-old adopted son. Right. Oh, my God. And they started giving, giving the kid hormone treatment. Oh, how kid. is this <laughs> not – how is this not child – How is it legal? How is yeah, it legal? It was, and how is it even possible for doctors to do this? I mean what, whatever happens to do no harm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First, do no yeah, harm. Yeah, define, define, define harm, Goyim. <laughs> starting really to harm? Inject, like prepubescent children with hormones with the intention of later cutting off their dicks is doing harm. I'm sorry. And yeah. it's going to affect their uh, their harm. self-image uh, coinciding with their uh, physical yeah. image. And look, uh, and I'm, sure, I'm sure that this boy that it they would be harm to not It would be harm to head. not allow them to do that. We're easing suffering, Goy. Yeah. Come on. I'm sorry, you were saying? I got I get carried away sometimes. Okay, I was saying that this boy that lives with these two lesbians, I'm sure actually is fucked up in the head because he was adopted by two lesbians yeah. who are not only lesbian, they are ideologically lesbian. He's got yeah. no role models. He has no, nothing wait. but <laughs> crazy women running his fucking life. And so like Imagine they're not even lesbians. They're just they're just so they're just so into like lefty politics. They have no actual sexual well, desire for huh, each other. They just kind of want to be lesbian. <laughs> that's what a le- that's what a lesbian is, dude. Oh, that's, that's right. I forgot. That's all of them. Shit. No, no, except I'm for, not even joking. Like except oh, for the experimenting twenty year olds. I've said it before. Like there's actually no such thing, no as, such a thing as a lesbian. A lesbian right. is a woman that's extremely far to the left and wants to make a political statement with her sexuality. Right. There's or no the, women the, that are exclusively attracted sexually to other women. It doesn't exist. Or it's just porn. Or or they're it's obese, them, it's or they're rape survivors, or whatever the fuck they yeah. are. They're not. They're yeah. not actually sexually attracted to other women. That's a myth. It's a, it's a, it doesn't exist. Right. Yeah. So I mean, for these women, it was just that they're so far to the left. They're making political statements, and they're making political statements with their their adopted child. That they all they need to be fucking ovened. Okay, for the betterment yeah. of society. Pretty much. You're right. I'm sorry that thing that I said before about how I might not want to throw people in ovens. I do. Yeah, no. Don't we know you were just counter signaling there. I was just, you know, I was trying, I was trying to, I was trying to sound like the reasonable one for a minute, in case any liberals were listening. Right. Other than me last, other than me last Jews. I, I wrote an article called uh, "Confessions of a Transphobic" and a follow-up, further <laughs> confessions of a transphobic, uh, on the, on this very topic, and it it is one of the most horrifying things in the world, and everybody who. You know, the transsexuals admit that they have some kind of mental illness, right? That, that's, the, that's the foundation for their claim that they need to have these hormones and surgeries. So they admit they're yes. mentally ill. And I just think that since, okay, when women have uh, eating disorders, you know, we don't let them starve themselves or we don't help them starve themselves, right? If, if some guy right. thinks he's Jesus, we don't crucify him. If some guy thinks he's Napoleon, we don't give him a coronation. We don't give him give him an empire. So why in the world right. can we not say no to these crazy people who think that they're a woman trapped in a man's body or something? We just we have <laughs> to know. we have to say no to these people. We just have to say no. Yeah. We love you. You're a wonderful person, but you're sick in the head, and we're going to take care of you. And no, we're not going to let you cut your dick off. And if any doctor does this he's going to be disbarred and thrown in prison because that's not what medicine is for greg hit the, na- yeah. hit the and, nail and on the head we are the, hold on we're yeah. gonna, greg just said we're going to help you and then we are going to help you oven right now is at 616 degrees <laughs> we will get the help you need <laughs> well actually one way or the interesting another. thing is <laughs> as you know we, we have we have some people in in our group that are at various in various fields and at various levels of achievement in different educational uh, venues, and one of our friends is, is pursuing a degree in psychology, and he's he knows some he's very good with statistics, and and he has some some data on this, which is that um, shit I forgot what I was saying, fuck, oh yes okay he does he has the data on this, which is that 
the interesting thing about trans, transsexuals or transgender people, I think it's transsexuals are the people that actually want to change their biological sex, is that at every step along the way of the process of hormone treatment and then cutting the dick off at some point and actually physically becoming the opposite sex, it's always men that want to do this. For There's reasons for that. But um, at every step along the way, suicide becomes more statistically more likely. Mm-hmm. And there is no other... In psychology, there is no other treatment for any other disorder that people have where if suicide becomes statistically more likely after the treatment that they will continue with the treatment. Right, right. Like in any – if they're like, oh, we if someone's depressed, we administer this drug, they become more likely to kill themselves. We're going to just keep giving them the drug. They don't do that. They'll cut it off. They'll stop. Right. They'll stop doing it and they'll find something else right. or they'll discontinue that or whatever they're going to do. But in, in this one area – it becomes statistically more likely that they will suicide every every time every step along the way and there's many that right after the surgery they kill themselves and like more than half of them kill themselves so it's not helping them and there's there's good reason to think that actually the best help for them is like oh you think you're a woman let's inject you with some male hormones and that actually <laughs> sets them straight more than yeah. like actually chopping their dick off and injecting them with more female hormones would yeah so uh it's kind of like when you're, now that's, if you're... Interestingly, that's not a treatment that's pursued, so there's not very good data on it, but people have hypothesized, what if we started treating these people yeah, with why males don't we, why don't, instead of females? At the very least, let's generate and, uh, some data and that, see what we get. That you know, gets shut it. down. That gets shut down because it's uh, discriminatory. So, yeah. discriminatory. And the thing is, the sad thing is that, that these people are kind of pathetic cases. They're not even... It's not them. I don't hate them. They're just they're kind no. of mentally crazy, ill people, and they're being enabled by this establishment that has an interest in no. deconstructing the nuclear family, and that's this. So that's yeah, that's the problem is when you about. take because that's yeah. what that's what the cost of accommodating this small, tiny minority of weirdos is. Is that when you accommodate for it to make them feel better and feel better about yourself, you're doing damage to the nuclear family and you're doing damage to the civilization. Well, that's it's not the worth purpose. It. I'm not it's even not saying it. it's not even a tangential effect. That's the purpose of it. Well, for for, the for a very few they're, people, they're that is the point. But people. the people that go along yes, with it, yes. the regular, the good guys, they're not looking at it that way. Yeah. They're looking at it as no, we're understand. alleviating this pain for these people. Yeah. I, I yeah. think it's yeah. also these people are human sacrifices, yeah. basically, yes, that's for what I'm uh, you know liberals to feel superior and signal harder than you know somebody right. who's a little yeah. to the right of them. But also, uh, I had this. Uh, Facebook uh, debate with some homo before he uh, blocked me about this uh, topic. It was on the <laughs> wall of a friend of mine. And uh, basically, it came down to this. Um, homosexuals are pro-transsexual because transsexuals are sort of like a, a buffer between them and the mainstream. They have right. the idea that these people's genitalia and lives are worthy of being sacrificed because if society says no to transsexuals, the next thing that's going to happen is it's going to start saying no to homosexuals, right? And so mm-hmm. they feel like they have to affirm this to keep their own little world safe, right? And it's, it's a very selfish motive, basically, and they don't care. They fundamentally don't care that these people are very, very sick, very unhappy, and many of them do end up killing themselves. That's a small price to pay to, 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 for this, a safe, pay, a safe place for the standard fuck party, right? <laughs> <laughs> and and need, homosexuals are so face. far from being oppressed in our society, it's absurd. And it's so funny how pointing that out actually gets people mad. Like just being like, well, gay people really aren't oppressed in our society yeah. at all. Yeah, that, like, that's, that's, that's the they're short. Not oppressed. They're put up on a. They're put on a pedestal and and yeah. celebrate. I mean, and like if you don't want to celebrate them hard enough, you could potentially be in trouble. Yeah. So like, don't you know? Yeah. Don't be the yeah, guy who starts stops shit. clapping first for Comrade Stalin. Yeah. Exactly.